Part two of the Signal Tracer series, How Not to Do It. Ah, good morning at YouTube, here with you on a Sunday morning now. Um, uh, it is a couple of minutes before noon, so it is still morning, technically. Uh, here on the uh, uh, Signal Tracer project, the uh, I done forgot what we're calling it. Pastimes Radio uh, AFRF Signal Tracer. And the deal is, <laughs> I spent most of the day yesterday, and I, when I say I spent most of the day, I, I sit in my chair on the computer doing these things, and it's not like it's uh, I've expended a lot of energy. I haven't. Uh, in fact, I expended very little other than to get up and go to the bathroom or get something to eat. <laughs> that was about it. But I want to document this because uh, you guys can hear my thought process or see my thought process, whatever you want to call it. And um, so I thought it would be a good idea to do that. And uh, I learned some things along the way and um, this first part that you're going to see was the wrong way of doing it, uh, best I can tell you. I, uh, I should have done it differently and I will explain that later on better. How's that? But uh, So I don't want to belabor this opening too much because uh, I want to get into it and show you exactly where I went wrong and, and what, what I did wrong and things like that so that you can learn from my mix, my mistakes and uh, that's always a good thing I think and uh, so anyway um, let me get into that and show you and for this part it's going to be mostly my my drawings let me show you this real quick here and I, I know this has already got something on it but this is uh, the size of the circuit board we're going to be working with now I made a uh, computer model of this and this has got the socket on it I know but like I said that's just what we're looking at is the, these um, uh, perp boards I start couldn't think the name of them. and that's what we're going to be working with I'm going to show you the, my outline or my uh, thought process again like I said on how I, I went about trying to decide where to put components things like that and you can see what I am. But like I said, this first part's gonna be mostly images with me narrate, narrating uh, on the uh, microphone at the computer. And uh, so that's that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go through this first part pretty quick on the uh, layout because um, it, it was wrong. <laughs> and I, I don't know that it's totally wrong, but it's wrong enough to where I wanna start over again and uh, do it better because I now I have more knowledge on it and it's a, it's kind of a trial and error type thing and uh, so here I am I'm playing with something down here and talking and you know how I'll start doing it so let me get right on over to the computer and well let's let's take a look at my uh, my faux pas how's that all right well here we are as promised on the computer and uh, what I'm going to do is show you basically how I got this set up in other words, how I um, use the different images and things like that to accomplish what I want to accomplish. I have two image programs open. I have Paint and I have Earthen View. And I'm going to show you some Earthen View images here first. Here's the uh, here's the Signal Tracer uh, schematic. This is a key element of the uh, design. Um, use the cursor here to uh, show you this is the chip obviously now if you divide this in half which is basically right here you'll see that the chip resides on the right side uh, more than in the middle so in other words if this is the middle this is to be the right side of it and here's the end now the part I did not realize um, or I didn't think out through properly is the fact that there's only a couple components here on the right side. And this is mainly just wires going all the way here to there and things like that. This side 
is full of crap. <laughs> I mean, there's everything and his brother's over here. So that was my first mistake because I'm going to show you next what I did as far as uh, laying this out. And let me see if I can get over to the... Um, yeah, here this is. This is going to be our... Um, our um, perp board. Now this is the design I came up with uh, on the computer because I had it at first an actual perp board, just an image of it, and the brown did not go well with the uh, little components that, I, that you'll see that I came up with, and I'm going to show you that screen as well. Uh, here are they. Now these are the ones I came up with. These are just, you know, they are all blank. They're just, let's see transistors right here. These are uh, ceramic caps. Here's your mylar or polyester caps. Here's your blank resistors up here. Here's some diodes. Down below are some um, uh, electrolytic capacitors. Now, none of this is drawn to scale. It is scaled as you put it onto the board or onto the layout. And it's also the, uh, the markings mean basically nothing on most of them. Some of them I marked because, you know, it was just an easier way of doing it. And uh, so that's that. And uh, so that's how they look. And like I said, this is the, uh, again, the blank perf board, how I started out with that. And uh, so, you know, it's just a, uh, I think if I transfer this over to the, uh, what do you call it? I can do better. So let me, uh, let me shut the screen recording down and we'll go over to the, uh, uh, video editor and we'll do this in the video editor I think it will be better off or we will be better off I should say uh, doing it that way so let's transfer this over alright here we are back at the uh, computer we're over at the uh, video editor now and the image you see up on there is the uh, uh, perp board with one of the components on it now the one we chose or I chose to uh, use first is the uh, one for the uh, chip because it's it's the largest uh, object on there and it uh, it we know generally where it needs to go so I decided that's what I came up with off center to the right and lay at that that point right there from this point I, I continued and I'm not going to go through every uh, uh, image because uh, for one thing I, I've already deleted them <laughs> I made a big mistake if you count the uh, pins there on that chip, you're going to see that that's a 16-pin chip. And the only problem with that is the LM380N is a 14-pin chip. So I got all the way up to, I think it was picture number 10, and I had most, most of the stuff, uh, I had all the stuff on the right side done, and I was starting over on the left side of the chip to populate it, and put stuff on it and then I realized my mistake when I went to uh, add some components on that side I thought well that doesn't add up <laughs> so needless to say I had to do some changes so what I came up with was this chip here as you can see in this image here and this one uh, is 14 pin <laughs> and uh, that's what we were, were looking for so my 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 initial thing on this thing was to fill in the ground wire on the bottom because that's a solid wire. I thought that was easy. Plus, I thought, you know, we'll start on the top laying this out just like the schematic. And if you look at the schematic, you can see that uh, basically you have uh, 9 volts up there and it goes over to the switch right there and then goes to that capacitor. And so I thought, well, that's, that's an easy thing to do. So let's go back to that and uh, we'll do that first and so that's what we did now like I said this next one here shows you I have the uh, uh, ground wire all the way across I have the capacitor in I left space between V and W for the switch wires to hook up and that's our humble beginning right there of our design now again you have to realize this is the second time I've done this and I, I I basically took the photos from the first 10 that I took and I, I took that LM380 in and redid it as far as uh, I captured a, spe uh, a um, 
area around that and then just put that in and paste it and, and cut things like that. It was it was a pretty quick process. I'd say I probably didn't spend over 15 minutes redesigning the whole first 10 of them. And uh, so it didn't take that long. And like I said, the uh, next thing I came up with was this, which is the uh, resistor going up to pin uh, uh, eight, I believe it is. Uh, that's where I came up with on that. And uh, I forget now which, which, I've got the numbers in there. I'll, later on, we'll see what they are. But uh, if I look at the schematic, I think that is uh, R8, I believe, on the schematic there. So, uh, but like I said, that's what it's going to be. Or it's headed up towards the pin 7 there is where it's headed. So uh, let's go to the next one here, and that is our capacitor. Um, now, again, I made mistakes. And I don't know if you've noticed it on the schematic, but... On the schematic, the resistor is on top and the capacitor is on the bottom. And so, uh, me, I'm a stickler for details, so I had to uh, change that. So, uh, there you can see, I've, I've, I've changed that and uh, I put the uh, designations in R8, C7, C9, and IC1 on the uh, chip. And I also added a power line for the uh, uh, chip itself uh, that goes to pin 14 and uh, now I've no I've got I'm using two different wire sizes here I don't know if you noticed that but the uh, component wires are a little bit thinner than these bus wires I'm going to call the bus wires the the positive and the negative wires and that's I try to follow that uh, without throughout the uh, design of this and so that's uh, this is what I'm up up to so far you guys can see I have R8 or, or C7, C9 in. Everything's looking good, and you know the way I'm figuring it is. But uh, you know, so I decided to go up above next and add R7. And as you can see, it, it's it's again. Let's go back to the schematic uh, real quick, and you can see that's pretty much the same as the schematic. Everything's adding up pretty good, and uh, so I'm happy about that. And let's go back to the di diagram. So I'm really start th starting to think I've got this thing all coming together, and I'm really, really doing a good job on it. <laughs> so uh, the next thing I, I laid in was the um, one on the uh, other side of the chip, C5, which goes from uh, the top to the bottom. And so that's what I did there, and uh, just added that in real quick. Now, again, these uh, these electrolytics are just representative representative of the ones I'm using. They may not be uh, axially leaded like these. Uh, in fact, I know most of mine are radio leaded. And so, but I do have at least the, uh, the minus going to the correct way. It's, it's oriented properly. We'll put it that way. So I was happy about that. So let's go to the next one and see what I got. All right, there's C8. Now C8 will end up going to, if we look again at the schematic, uh, it will end up going to the speaker. And you can see there the speaker just goes between C8 and ground. So that's what we're headed with that next. Let's, let's go on and see how we, we ended up uh, coming up with that and uh, see if the next one shows. Uh, next one shows the... Uh, I decided, or you know, kind of early on, to put some designations in for connections and S2, which is the power switch, and you'll see the blue outlines there, that's where it connects. And I decided to do the same exact thing with the uh, speaker, as you'll see next. And I've got the speaker output right there. It goes to C8 and to ground. And there's two blue connections there. So I thought that looked pretty good as far as the way it looks. And uh, so I decided to go ahead and go on some more. I'm, I'm thinking this is turning out really good. I'm really happy with it so far. And uh, next thing I decided to put in was another chip on, or another uh, component on the uh, left side of the chip. And this one is C6. Again, that's a uh, polyester type cap uh, is what it's called for. Now, it's not the actual cap, obviously. And I don't even remember the value of it, but it's, it's listed on the... Uh, bill of materials 
So, but that's where it goes. It goes from pin one of the uh, LM380 uh, into uh, ground. And this is, I think, the point where I, I realized that my chip was the wrong size to begin with. And this is where I, I had to co go back to um, change everything around and get things organized. So I kept on going from there. And uh, at first I thought, you know, I'm not, I'm not putting any wires on the, on the bottom of this, and I need to, to do some outlining on that, on stuff like that. So what I did was made a, a, a grayscale, uh, darkened it in a little bit, you know, less, less contrast, things like that, and flipped it over. And that's basically what you'll see when you do that is this, the bottom of this outline like that. And so then I decided to go ahead and add some wiring to the bottom. And there's my ground wire. I put that in first. And then uh, there's several wires on the chip itself that go to ground. And so I added those and added designations of chip or the uh, uh, numbering so that you could see how that was designed. And that's, that's on the bottom side is how it will be wired. Now, I'm going to redo this again. But like I said, this is what I came, with, came up with for this part. Now we'll go back to the other side, and you see I have added R6 now on, on, our, on our top side there. Um, I, I think, uh, you know, um, at this point, I'm, I'm again, I'm, I'm starting to see a pattern here that uh, maybe, maybe I'm not going to have quite enough room on the left side. And... Uh, so anyway, like I said, I, I, I went ahead and I kept going, though. You know me, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of a hard head and sometimes I'm thinking, oh, I can make it fit. <laughs> you know, the, the famous last words you have. And so here's what I came up with next. Uh, the VR. Now, that is, uh, uh, again, just the connections. You see three points here. That, uh, that is where the, uh, and again, let's look at the uh, schematic real quick. You can see if you look at the VR on the, it's pretty much right in the middle, okay, of the uh, schematic. And again, that's where it connects to. It connects to pin two of the chip, and there's going to be some over overgoing wires there. And I, I didn't like that at all, so I decided to go ahead and, and I thought, well, I'll go ahead and continue. And at first, I was, I had it in my mind, I would just wire it on the bottom, and do that. But uh, then I got to thinking about some other stuff. Anyway, next thing I would, I think I put that cap in next. Oh, I went ahead and added the designation for it. Then I put the cap in. Now this is a ceramic cap, and I even put 104 on it. As you can see, it is C4. And that's, that's where it goes. I mean, it's not a problem, you know, there's no problem with uh, the layout and the design as far as the circuit's concerned. And it goes, goes to that spot. So uh, again, I'm thinking, wow, I'm really running out of room fast over here. So I went one more thing, and I thought, well, I'm going to add that transistor in there, Q1. And I marked the uh, drain, the gate, and the source. And this is the point that I decided, I thought, now this has gone too far. It, it, there's no, there's no, not going to be enough room to put all this stuff in on this side. So um, this is <laughs> this is the, the point I'm at at the moment, and I think that you'll see or agree agree maybe that uh, I have uh, just botched the design pretty much. <laughs> but you know this is the, this is the part that I enjoy doing because I look at stuff like this and I think you know how do you learn to do things like this, and if you don't try it. You, you never know how, how it's going to turn out. Now, I think I love the design of this, uh, the way this is turning out. I think it's going to be great. It's going to be very, very illustrative of, uh, uh, illustrative, whatever, but, uh, you know, of how this thought process, or whatever you want to call it, comes together and how we can make this design flow fairly nicely. Now, I have some ideas, uh, you know, as soon as I, I, by the way, I stayed up till like 2 o'clock last night because time just gets away from me when I'm doing stuff like this. I, I get into it really, really good. I'm thinking, you know, hey, this is going great. And um, until the time I realized that it wasn't going to fit, <laughs> it was really, I was happy with it. I thought, this is, this is great. 
But uh, even then, I'm thinking, you know, of course, I, I decided, well, it's 2 o'clock. I better go to bed. <laughs> so as soon as I got in bed, I, of course, you know, you can't stop just thinking about it. So I started thinking about the layout. I thought, now, I've got to be able to make move that chip over. That chip's got, you know, there's there's a big big white space there between the uh, chip and the uh, that big capacitor there. And I thought, now, there's got to be a better way of, of uh, putting that chip over much closer to the edge of the board because there's basically no components on that side. There's one, two, three, four. Four components on that side. And that's it. And the majority of the components are on the left side. So I had a, a, an epiphany, I guess is what you would say, <laughs> in bed last night, and I thought, I know how I'm going to do it now. So I've got a good idea of, of where I'm going with this, and uh, so that part number three is going to be the revised uh, circuitry or layout, whatever you want to call it. And uh, so uh, I'm, I'm just making these as I, I as these are just coming to me as I do this. This is what I go through. You guys wanted to see a, a series of how I do this, and this is how I do it. So, um, you know, I'm hoping somebody learns something from it. That's nice. <laughs> That's always nice. But, uh, you know, at the same time, you may have a better idea of how to do this. I'm not an expert on this, obviously. And so I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to compact it a little bit and not going to overcrowd it. Now, uh, that's another thing I try to avoid when I do these uh, jobs is to uh, avoid putting everything right together. You know, you, you don't want that either. You want it spread out enough where you can get in there and work on it, and you also uh, want it to, to be fitting into the, you know, the area that you have. So let's, uh, I'm going to cut this off here. You guys, in the comments, please let me know if this is something that interests you as far as how I'm doing this. Um, I'm hoping it is because, you know, I like to make interesting videos when I can. And um, so, uh, like I said, if, just let me know. Give me some comments. Give me some feedback. Let me know if something that I should be doing differently. Uh, I know this style of video is not the greatest. I mean, as far as you don't see my pretty face, for one thing. <laughs> but, uh, like I said, I, I, I think this is uh, the best way as far as showing your work, as it were. Now, this is similar to the, uh, I started doing these uh, on breadboards at, at one time. And it's similar to the layout there. But this is, uh, you know, instead of a breadboard, we're using a perp board. And I think using the actual size and dimensions and things like that makes it more realistic looking anyway. And so that's what I'm trying to do. Oh, I know what that was, I was going to say. The, uh, the, the uh, chip, I'm, I'm going to use a socket for that. Um, it's a 14-pin socket, obviously. But uh, that way it's a little extra, you know, uh, ease of uh, operation, you know. You can solder, there's, like I said, the, there, there's a lot of soldering being done on the uh, pins of that chip, and I, I like to, to solder on uh, a socket when I can if there's a lot of heat involved, because that way you just plug the socket or the uh, chip in, and you don't have a, a problem with it. So that was my thought on that. I just forgot that. Well, I don't know why, but I did. But I am going to use a socket for that, and uh, like I said, uh, I, I'm not showing you that, but uh, that's what uh, it is going to be socketed. So. All right, I think I have blabbed long enough. Um, again, let me uh, get back to my little design uh, thing here. And uh, again, that's using paint mostly, and uh, that's how I do it. So um, that's, uh, that's the way I'm coming up with these things. And uh, I'm hoping, you, like I say, you guys like it. And uh, again, I'm just repeating myself. So... Uh, I'm going to close out here. You guys have a great day. Uh, this is a, a Sunday, obviously. It's a day of rest. <laughs> and uh, you guys uh, try to uh, get some rest and uh, think about this and let me know what you think. And I really appreciate you guys watching and following along. And uh, so uh, until the next time, I guess we'll see you. Thank you.